Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, tragic news, of course. The death toll continues to rise in Japan after these two powerful earthquakes. Uh, one was a, uh, seriously, one was a very powerful, powerful 6.5. The other one, 7.0 uh, in the exact same spot. The death toll is now at 41 are dead and 1,500 injured. And there's still around 97 people, they believe, that are still buried in the rubble or trapped under collapsed buildings. There's another 10 people missing, buried under landslides. So the death toll is expected to rise. Residents and officials are slowly trying to piece their lives back together. After this second mega quake, it was the seventh quake in a 75-hour period. This one, 7.0, hitting Japan and the southern part of Japan early uh, Saturday morning. 41 people are confirmed dead, 9 killed in the first quake on Thursday, and 32 so far in the second uh, 1,500 people injured, and still, as we said, many are trapped or buried. We have to uh, really be in prayer for the island of Japan. Now, a bigger story, or just as big, I should say, is that there are two nuclear power plants down in the southern portion of Japan that were still operational, and uh, there is concern. Uh, was there any kind of cracking in the cooling pools uh, for those spent nuclear fuel rods, or do we have any reactors starting to melt down? Of course, it was weeks before we got the official word from the Jap Japanese government that one, two, three, well, it ends up being six nuclear reactors are in meltdown process as we speak. Matter of fact, Japan is getting ready to dump I don't know how many billions of gallons of radioactive water into the ocean. They want to do a one-time splash and then back off and then kind of keep working with it. they just got to do something. Uh, do we really want that to happen? No. It's already leaking. There is, it's in the groundwater, folks. It's in the land. It's in the air. And now do you want to completely kill the ocean? Um, anyway, it's a mess. It's a mess. Japan is in a situation. This is a country dying, basically. Needs a lot of prayer. It's definitely not a spot to go hold the 2020 Olympic Games. Are you serious? But then again, neither is Brazil for the 2016 Games. As they just keep having viruses, Zika, uh, birth defects, uh, uh, mudslides, toxic sludges, collapsed stadium walls, sinkholes, dead fish. I mean, are you serious? By the millions. I mean, it just goes on and on. It's as if the Brazil Olympic Games is totally cursed for this summer. I just don't see why anybody would even want to uh, get near the place. It's, it's, it's unbelievable what's taking place right here, right now. The apocalyptic signs that are going on around the world is incredible. Uh, incredible. Anyway, uh, we'll keep an eye on what's going on. I want to get you an update on the situation in Japan. There are many things happening today all over the world. It's kind of hard to even keep up with it all. Uh, uh, it just really is. But uh, there's so much. And the Bible said we'd have earthquakes. And the scriptures said that there would be un unrest among nations. The scriptures said that the Temple Mount would become, that Jerusalem would become a cup of trembling and a burdensome stone unto all people. And the, look, there's, th there's thousands of dead swordfish that washed up on a bank um, in Brazil. I think it was Brazil also. I mean, it's unbelievable what's going on, folks. It's incredible what's going on. Are you serious? Let me just double check that because I just want to get that right for you. But I'm pretty sure it was in Brazil. Uh, let me see. Right here it is. My story. Yeah, Brazil. I mean, it's insane. I looked at the... Uh, uh, <laughs> thousands of dead swordfish. Big, huge swordfish. Why? They're just washing up on the banks of what? Brazil. It's incredible. The earth is dying. But the Bible said this would happen. It's in the book of Hosea. 
because there's no truth, there's no mercy, there's no knowledge of God in the land. And because of the swearing, the lying, the killing, the stealing, and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Therefore, the land is going to mourn. It's going to languish with the beast of the field, with the fowls of heaven, yea, and the fish of the sea also shall be taken away. And then Jesus said there will be earthquakes in divers places. And Zechariah said that Jerusalem will become a cup of trembling and a burden of stone to all people. And we're seeing all of these apocalyptic signs. And I don't even want to talk about planet 7X or Nibiru or planet X or planet number 9. Nobody even knows what the name of this thing is, but the whole universe is being shaken as Jesus said would happen in Luke 21. Are you serious? Wow. Very good save, folks. Seriously. Look, give your life to Jesus Christ. Get on the winning side. Start living the life of joy. I know that things are falling apart, but that doesn't steal my joy. It doesn't, steal, doesn't stop me from loving Christ and loving one another. It's not going to steal my joy. But if you die without Christ, 